Hi, y'all. How y'all doing today? Welcome to the Lockhart Monster Trap. And today, we're going to make a milk jug skull. The first thing you want to do, rinse out the milk jug. They stink if you don't. This one happens to be a great value iced tea. Same difference. Cut the lid off your jug. We may trim it more, don't know yet. Get you a good, hard, resin skull. Good resin skull. A cheap plastic skull is just going to melt under you. Get a good, hard resin skull. You're going to get it hot. You need it hot. I made a stand just to work on. Makes it nice. You can take your long part of your jug. You want to pop it down on that skull. It doesn't matter that it don't want to go. We're going to make it go. I recommend a set of good heat gloves. Try the oven mitts. They don't work. Good heat gloves. You can get them at uh, Home Depot. They're going to be wet. You're going to have a bowl of water. Ice water works best, but as many of these as I make, I don't have any ice. A couple of sponges and a good heat gun. High setting. Peel off your stickers. You don't have to peel off the stickers, just makes them look better if you do. That's the fun part. There we go. I think, maybe. I might just have an ugly one. Sucks when the stickers don't come off. No fun when the stickers don't come off. You know what? This one's going to try and make me mad. I've been making these things all day, and this is the first one that the stickers don't come off. You get it started, you heat the adhesive, it usually peel right off. This one, this one's being difficult. I'll make a bullet hole out of it. That's what we'll do. Really not supposed to take this one. That is going to be ugly. That's okay. I'll put him on the bottom of a pile. Now then. I don't know if you can see it in there, but you're going to line up the long part. Right in the center. Down the face. Center it up. I'll hold it at the bottom. Stretch the top. Look at that. Uh, 
Now then, you got it good and hot, I'm going to cool it off. back, kind of pull it around, make it tight. trim it off, but I'm going to trim it off about a half inch. Now we got a good pull. Start on his chin. Right in the middle, start on the chin. Get it till it's good and clear. Tuck it under. Turn it to whichever side. Now then, you got it pretty tight. Good set. Start shrinking. You'll be able to see the plastic kind of roll around and stick to your skull. We're shrinking that old milk jug down around that resin skull. Down around the temporal bone. Then behind the jaw. The mandible.
What I do on the eyes is I'll get an eye pocket hot. Fold your sponge in half, stuff it in there. Get your eye pocket hot. My mind, I don't worry a whole lot about details. I used to worry about details, and I'd go in and punch in teeth with the screwdriver. These are going in the dark in my graveyard in a pile. If this one doesn't come out pretty, I'll stick it in the bottom of the pile. I've made probably 30 of these so far this year. First question that's going to be asked in this video, will a hair dryer work? No. Go get a heat gun. 19 bucks at Home Depot. A hair dryer is not going to do it. Bottom line, bar none, period. Here we have it. Both basic milk jug skull. Is it great? Nah. Will it do what you need it to do? Yeah. Now, baby. Do you a good blade? Center line. Cut it right up the center.
Doesn't have to be straight. It's a Halloween prop. It doesn't have to be perfect. If people are nitpicking your Halloween props, you ain't scaring them enough. Make another one. basic milk jug skull and we're going to take it and we're going to trim them up a little bit and they're pretty durable they're all right for what we use them for I think I'm going to need to make a new skull. A new skull? Mm -hmm. That one got hot. Uh -oh. Well, this is like seven of these today. Six of these today. Mm -hmm. Hey, my resin skull broke. Oh, no. <laughs> well, baby, how many times have we heated this thing up and cooled it down, right? some reason when you put water on it, it gets wet. We're going to dry it off. Cheap masking tape. that seam back together with masking tape. Some people cut them in a Y, I don't. I just put a straight split down the middle of the back. This part doesn't have to be perfect either. You just want something to hold it together so you can stick it. Still a little wet. Don't care. It's all good. And if you get what I call blowouts where you get hot and blow a hole in it, it doesn't matter. It's a skull. We'll just make it work. See, you got a blowout right there on the chin. It doesn't matter. all good heat gun hot glue come inside right down that seam and my hot glue is not hot yet what you're gonna do is seam that up there's where we cut it loose 
You're going to go right inside there and fill that seam up with hot glue. When my heat gun, when my hot glue gun gets hot. Do we have an unpainted one? You painted them all? Uh, Hot glue gun didn't stay hot enough, but that's fine. It takes longer to get hot. This one's sticky. He's got a knot on his head, too. He ain't perfect. He ain't perfect. That skull is hot. Blew the back of his head out. That thing right there has done a ton of these things this year. Probably 99% of the skulls in our haunt are milk jugs. From the Queen's throne. To the cemetery gates, to whatever else I decide to put them on. This thing takes forever to heat up, and it's about 30 seconds to cool down. Did you Yeah. Well, I worked faster than my hot glue gun got warm, but I also did this one kind of half-assed just to make a fast video. And, uh, cause yeah. Lockhart ain't made a video in a while, and I thought, you know what? I have seen a million posts on milk jug skulls. Oh my God, milk jug skulls are awesome. I hope mine look that good. How do you do that? What do you form it on? Well, use a resin skull. Resin skull. If you go to Party City and buy a $10 life-size plastic skull, it ain't gonna work. You're gonna melt it. Will a hair dryer work for this project? No, go get a heat gun. Hair dryer does not get hot enough and allow you to work fast enough to melt the milk jug around the skull. It just doesn't work. Now then, what we've done is we've gone in there and we have hot glued that seam back together. Is he perfect? Does he need to be? Not for what we're going to do. We're haunters. And there you go. It resembles a skull. It looks like it a It resembles skull. a skull. People are going to see your attraction for what? 30 seconds? 45 seconds? If you're having a Halloween party, someone might go inspect it. Oh my God, how'd you make that? I made it out of a milk jug skull. Or I made it out of a milk jug. Oh wow, I wish I knew how to do that. Not that hard. And again, this is just a quickie. You got one of those that's kind of dry? Let me see that one when you're done. Hart's in here too. She's just not being social today. You see, I'm not fond of that right there gonna be a bottom of the pile skull but I can still make it a little bit better let me make it a little bit better Maybe 
just take that and give it a little warm, curl it under. It's got that knot on the side of the chin. Those have warts on your nose, not your chin. Art's here. There she is. She's painting as I, I make them. We got a lot to do. Okay. Okay. So, there you go. Hey, you know what? I'm dry a little bit. <laughs> I can dry it a little bit. That's one of the good ones. But yeah, it's got a hole blown in it. So what? That was a good one. Time it gets all painted up, you ain't gonna know it. That's the scene that we just glued together. Now what I recommend is you take it and you spray it down with some kind of spray adhesive. Yes. Cheap spray adhesive is fine. Yes. Doesn't have to be 777. We learned that the hard uh, way. Do I have some? Yeah. Loctite spray adhesive. Spray it down with that while it's raw. Give your paint something to stick to. Oh no! And there went everything. There went your camera and everything. Broke the tripod. Stupid amateurs. <laughs> That's okay, I'm back. Is it still videoing? Yeah, it's still videoing. Yay! Now I'm going to see if I can turn the camera around. I don't know how to do it. There's a button on there. The button that does a screenshot. But when I'm in the middle of shooting a video, it doesn't like to turn the camera around. Anyway, I got some that are done. Milk jug skulls. Milk jug skulls on the throne. Gotta love it. Go make stuff. Have fun doing it. If you can't make it, modify it.